Um, so thanks again for being here with us today. Um, my name is Sam Leung. I'm a Product Experience Manager here at Zillion, and I'm excited to show you how Zillion enables price managers um, to leverage that digital and e-commerce data, as Pete has mentioned, as an input into price management and optimization, um, and more importantly, to set those online-specific pricing and make those prices immediately available in Salesforce B2B Commerce. So we'll start here at the Salesforce B2B Commerce site. And as an end customer, we'll actually log in um, directly into the site. Um, before logging in, we're seeing generic pricing, um, you know, maybe my list price. So I'll go ahead and log into um, my site. And right away, um, B2B Commerce gives me a personal experience um, displaying customer-specific prices that Zillion um, helps manage. So right away, when I'm looking at a specific product, I'm able to see my specific price. Um, and this would be the same price that I would receive if I called my sales rep directly. Um, it also would be the same price that a sales rep would see directly in um, Salesforce CPQ, as an example. So we really make it easy to, um, or for, cus for companies, to keep that consistency um, across their pricing in their direct and digital channels. So you can see here that um, this customer is receiving a discounted price, um, and we're also able to see volume tier pricing. So let's switch to a pricing manager here at Capricorn Coffee and see how they use Zillion to manage their pricing. So I'll start here um, on the pricing dashboard. So right away when I log into Zillion as a pricing manager, um, we give all the pricer everything they need to know to set a price. So we include key business metrics like revenue, profit, and margin. Um, maybe we provide you know, trends over time, maybe regionally and company-wide. But since all, these, all this data lives in one place in our Zillion Data Hub, we can easily show these important dashboards um, I like this as an example, and even allow the pricer to customize or create these new dashboards as they see fit. So I'll click into Zillion IQ, um, and this is where I've set up um, my workbook to manage my e-commerce prices. Um, but the list here that you see um, help me manage different prices for different situations. Um, maybe I need to manage my customer agreements or my customer-specific pricing, uh, maybe some promotions or even cost management. So we'll go into my e-commerce prices workbook. And I've created this workbook specifically to help me manage my e-commerce prices. But what's really great is that, again, since the data lives all in the Zillion Hub, I can easily bring in related data like product name or category and list price into this workbook to either help me make decisions um, or just as a reference. So I'll just sort by my e-commerce price here. Um, and so when I built this, um, I created a worksheet that helps me apply discounts. And so in this example, I've created a category discount, um, and I've created a website discount. So this category discount could be managed directly, or the category adjustments could be managed directly into this tab. But what's really great is that um, once these discounts are applied, I see my final e-commerce list price. And this is a um, simple formula that I created I'm using common syntax that you see in um, spreadsheet tools. So what's really cool about my website discount is that I was able to bring in external data from my Salesforce B2B commerce site. And so, for example, this particular product um, has low page views, low conversion, but high inventory. And so but being able to use this, these stats um, 
as I think about setting my price or responding quickly to my environment, um, I'm able to set what those discounts are based on these um, categories. So I'll jump into my website um, stat adjustments tab which lists all the different iterations of these statistics that help me manage what that discount should be. So maybe for my low page views, my low conversion, but my high inventory, maybe I want to increase my discount from 2%, let's make it you know, 7%, um, to really encourage my customers to buy that excess inventory from our warehouses. Um, so when I switch back to my e-commerce prices worksheet, you can see how quickly that was able to take in um, that website discount from two to seven. Um, and this is just an example of how Zillion can take in that data that's constantly changing over time. And our system will automatically adjust the prices based on that latest data. This really gives our customers or you the ability to deliver real-time market pricing based on you know, these triggers within my business in this example, maybe high inventory. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a additional quantity tier so we can see how my, I'm able to easily manage those quantity tiers here. Again, to help encourage um, people buying that excess inventory from my warehouses, maybe I'll add an additional tier. So I'm going to just go side by side with my e-commerce site um, and I'll go ahead and add in my um, additional volume tier. So maybe I'll add a 15 um, tier with maybe a 10% additional discount. So you can see that um, third tier is added here below. Um, and so now I'll go ahead and refresh my e-commerce site to show you how easily we're able to um, react to this trigger. So you can see um, my additional 7% um, discount was um, relayed into B2B Commerce as well as my additional volume tier. So hopefully today you're able to see how you can utilize Salesforce B2B Commerce and Zillion together to enable your pricing teams to use Zillion um, to strategically update and manage your prices um, and seamlessly make those real-time prices available in Salesforce B2B Commerce.